ever get tired of plunking that thing? Just a moment. Okay. Thanks, I dropped the other one. I know. Why can't he plunk that guitar someplace else? This is Luna's house. You want to go out? I'm going to clean the room. Do I ever go out when you clean the room? For two months have I ever gone out while you clean the room? Does he have to play the same tune? In the morning, Luna works hard in the field. That music rests him. Oh, Pedro, one tune, huh? Luna name is Francisco Mario. Pedro, Pancho, Francisco, what's the difference? Francisco. How do you stand it? Stand what, senor? This dump of a town, this dullness. I was born here. It is what I know. Yeah, I guess so. If that's all you know. If you never sneaked out of the office to a ball game or to the track, or take a dame to the beach. I guess if you've never heard a hot combo at the Ebony Club, you, you might even appreciate Luna's music. There are things to do here, outside of this room. I don't want to go outside. Why don't we think of something to do inside? I play checkers. How long do you have to hide on here, senor? Who says I'm hiding? If you were free to go, you would not stay here. Who could ask for anything more? I want them on the floor. Shut the door. Who's the guy? Well? I don't know. He's a stranger. He's a North American. He looks out to me. Well, what's he doing here? Who is he? A man sitting on the bench. Why that bench in this town? He said yes uh, for a while, too. But you were sleeping. Why didn't you say something? We don't mind if he is there. But maybe I mind. You tell Luna to go over and talk to him. He will not disturb him. He's not bothering anyone. You tell Luna to go talk to him anyway. Somebody in town must know who he is. They don't care. They never ask. What's the matter with you people? 
Aren't you curious? Are you so dumb you can't even be curious? We know about you, only what you have told us. I've got to know who he is, what he's doing here. Tell Luna to go and talk to him. If he don't want to be alone, he will come over and talk to Luna. I've got to know. Why don't you talk to him? No, I can't do that. Luna will not play anymore, senor. It's not the music. That guy talked to him. Luna. What that guy want, the, the stranger, the North American who's sitting on the bench. He did not want anything, senor Smith. Who is he? What's he doing in this town? I do not know who he is, nor what he is doing here, except sitting on the bench listening to the music. You did talk to him. He talked to me, senor Smith. Okay, he talked to you. What about? He asked me who is the North Americano leaving his house. Why would he ask you about me? What'd you tell him? What'd you say? I say, Senor Smith, he live here. You said more than that. I heard you two jabbering away like two old women. He say, why doesn't your Senor Smith come out? Then he say, doesn't he ever come out? You tell him I go out whenever I please, and that it's none of his business. You tell him nothing. He said to me, too, uh, this Senor Smith, he must be a strange man. Why he do in his room all day? That's a pretty one-sided conversation. I say, no, he never come out. Maybe for a little walk in the evening at first, but now never. Why he do in his room, I do not know. It is his room, it is his own business. I'm glad you've got that through your head anyway. Tell him I'm writing a book. All right, Senor, when he asks me again. Maybe he won't come back. Maybe he's just a tourist passing through. Maybe. I do not think so. He doesn't mind his own business. He's liable not to be sitting on that bench the day after tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to go out while they clean the room. 
But later, maybe. Later. Well, was I right? About what, Junior? About the guy. He didn't come back. You were right, too, Nina. About having to get out of this place every once in a while. A fella can go nuts. Start seeing things. When tourists start looking like... Like what? Like anything but tourists, it's time to get out for a while. Maybe I'll take you for a walk in the moonlight. I work for you in the daytime, senor. You walk with Luna in the moonlight, is that it? I know what you think about Luna. What I want to know is, what do you think about me? I don't think about you. Maybe it's time you started thinking about me. Maybe the town wouldn't be so dull for either one of us. It is a bad way to kill time, senor. I'm not afraid of Luna. I don't mean you should, senor. Why you want to make trouble for Luna? Misery loves company. Are you in trouble? face, no whiskers, I even shave for you. You should go back to your country, senor. You are not happy here. I'd go back if I wanted to. I don't want to go back. I'll tell you what, I'll send Luna to get some supplies. You send Luna when you please. But he will know if you kiss me. How? I will tell him. Okay. Tell him. You don't have to worry, senor. He will not do anything. Some boyfriend you've got. Doesn't he care if another guy kisses you? He will carry only if I enjoy it, senor. You can tell him I didn't care about it and it great shakes myself. It is like a tin box. You love it. But there is something lacking. Having it is not as wonderful as you thought it would be. What do you know about that ten bucks? That's the only thing you have. It keeps you here. That's enough for you to know. It's nobody's business. He say it is very pleasant here in our little village. He say he can see why you choose to live here. He himself is in no hurry to go. Don't double talk me, Luna. I heard him talking about the North American. I heard that much. It is pleasant, the stranger said, just knowing there's another North American living here in our village. We will meet in time, he say. Yeah, he's got time. He's having real fun knowing I'm pinned down here. I've got to get out here. You and Nina keep them busy in the square. I'll go out the back way. Perhaps that is best. Perhaps it is time for you to go. Go. Where will I go in this stinking country that he or somebody like him won't show up someday sitting in the bench in the lousy plaza? I'm tired of running. I'm not going to run. Luna Singh, there is not any reason for you to be afraid of this man. You don't have to go. Why not? What have you been holding out? Today the stranger, he said, tell your friend in the house he does not have to worry. I know I don't have to worry. There's no extradition here. That is the word he used. What did you tell him that made him talk about extradition? You are not the first to come down here because your country cannot take you back. 
You said that you were not in trouble. You know better than that. Of course I'm in trouble. Just a little legal trouble. Then you don't think the stranger is a policeman? Maybe. Maybe he's just a friend of some friends of mine. Go make a little more talk with our friend, Luna. More? I have nothing to say. When he wishes to talk, he will come over. He wants to know if I go out. You tell him I go out every morning. You have not been out for days, senor. You tell him I go out for a walk through the back streets, along the river path, every morning, early. All right, senor. I took them because I was afraid for Luna. Now that I know that you could not kill the stranger, I am not afraid for Luna. Maybe I was wrong. I just decided he's just a stranger, a guy, a guy sitting on a bench. Luna now thinks you're right. Right? He thinks the stranger is here to kill you. He just thinks so. Luna has great side in here. The thing he sees often happens. Luna and that infernal guitar. Luna and his second sight. Let him see how he can get me out of this. Luna! Now's as good a time as any to have this thing out. I'll, I'll, I'll walk out of here. If he starts blasting, it's self-defense. You could go out the back way. Go. Where to? They followed me here, they'll follow me anywhere. I'm tired of running. They want you, or...? Both. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they'd settle for this, maybe they wouldn't. Maybe you'd take it and go back. He can have it. You will ask him? No. Probably what he wants, some trick. I'd either be dead or on a plane headed back to the States. Luna's got to ask him for me. Luna don't know about such things. He could make a deal for me. You will give the man the box? If he wants it. If he'll leave. But he's got to leave. Luna will have to follow him. Will Luna do that for me? I will ask him. What's that for? I do not know whether you are making a mistake or not, Senor Smith. I think maybe it's a little crazy. Why? What did he say? You said he went for the deal. See, si, he knew about the little box, but he insisted to be brought to him in his guitar case. Why you want that? I don't know, and I don't care. Probably thinks it'll attract less attention in town. You just take your time. I'll be watching from the window. And you stick with him. You understand? 
Will you give me back my guitar case? I'll buy you another one. knocked on the door, but no one answered. There's no one in the house but you and me. You gave Luna the slip of fool. I've been looking for Luna. I bought one of his guitars, but I broke a string, I thought perhaps. What good thing for you did for Senor Smith. He slept like a child for the first time. It's not heavy enough for gold. This is something very valuable. We want to be very rich, that's for sure. Ah, it's paper. But what he want with this paper? Why he got it with his life? Maybe paper is valuable to North Americans. Maybe they are crazy. They're going to bring trouble to us. I wish you could read it. They're going to bring trouble. Let's burn it. thousand bucks in bonds in there. Where are they? Ha, ha, ha. 